some of the photos we, we saw was you and your dad <coughs> they're kind of on the stage and and mm -hmm. sharing uh, with others and you, is that part of the um, uh, the the, the faith, uh, women's faith? Uh, no, no. Dad and I travel with the big Get Motivated um, seminars for four years. After he had a head injury, a brain injury, and I needed to interview him on stage, he, he knew all of his stuff. You just had to pull it out yeah. and then be careful not to re repeat. Mm -hmm. That was kind of my breaking in point, I think, God used to get me used mm -hmm. to being on a platform because I was his editor for... 20 years. I yeah. sat in the corner at home trying to keep up with him because wow. he's prolific. Mm -hmm. But no, um, I just had never gotten to get on a stage and just speak my heart about Jesus. And every platform I had was corporate or they, you could say a little bit, but they really wanted to rein me in. Mm -hmm. And I, of course I respect that, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to be able to talk about what it is to get beyond the consequences of your past. And you have some, some great endorsements here on the front of the book. What's been some of the response as you've gone out and shared your story with, with you know, people that you've connected with? I have had people tell me that they, their marriages are restored. Uh, mm. They've gotten help for their alcoholism. Uh, they've gone and gotten post-abortion syndrome counseling. Uh, the people have learned that just because your marriage isn't great doesn't mean God can't make it more amazing than you've ever imagined. Uh, my blended family is probably the thing I'm most excited about to show people is that you can have second marriages and you can have your children love one another uh, like they've been together forever. So now that you've made kind of this, this you know, this <laughs> right turn, yes. do you feel like you're more like your, you know, dad maybe than you've always, you know, <laughs> ever been where you're the one now saying it's an opportunity clock? <laughs> Well, I think the opportunity... Are you a little different? Yeah. No, I'm, I, am, I am different from my dad, yeah. but I am also very much like him. And I'm proud, I'm proud of all the parts of me that are just like yeah. him. Yeah. And I have his energy, so yeah. I'm glad for that. Julie, uh, I know that uh, the main message of, of your book it, is about hope and encouragement yes. and that there's always opportunity to turn around mm -hmm. and, and start things fresh. And for someone watching today that might feel completely helpless, they've made too many mistakes, the mistakes they made have been just too big and mm -hmm. too consequential, what mm -hmm. would you say to that person? I would just tell them just to pray to God to show them uh, his, his truth and his character and that his forgiveness is total and complete and mm -hmm. that they can be white as snow mm -hmm. and the freedom that they'll experience will just be wildly free if they'll just let go and trust him. Very good. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today, you. Julia. Again, the book is Growing Up Ziggler. And if you